I'm Steve Gollump. I'm uh, Chief of Neurology at Lankanaw Hospital, which is part of Thomas Jefferson University outside of Philadelphia. Uh, I hold um, the Lewis and Elizabeth Pippi Endowed Chair in Neurology for my work in uh, movement disorders and neurology. Um, I want to make a couple of comments today about cervical dystonia. Cervical dystonia is a not so easy to recognize condition, um, frequently even to this day is misdiagnosed. Of course, uh, if someone sees an individual with their head tilted practically onto their shoulder like so, or their head turned like all the way like so, there's probably a reasonable chance someone is going to figure out uh, that there's something amiss and uh, ultimately the patient is going to get a proper diagnosis of cervical dystonia. But it's the patients with the more su subtle tilts, the more subtle constant discomfort, their head may be slightly cocked and turned and they constantly talk about neck pain in one spot. Uh, that may go unrecognized uh, and may go unrecognized for a very long time. Um, so what should you do to try and sort this out? Well, number one, if you see someone like this, don't immediately assume that cervical strain or a herniated disc. Um, one can do a, a fairly quick neurologic examination and maybe have a pretty good idea after maybe three or four minutes what's going on, maybe less, given the amount of time you may have available. Uh, number one, looking at the reflexes and um, making sure there's no focal weakness will probably eliminate most people with cervical disc, not necessarily everybody.